Fellow citizens, I bring greetings to the people of St. Kitts and Nevis on the occasion of the 2017 edition of the Month of Activities to celebrate the youth of our Federation. The estimated population of the Federation 52,000 persons, of which approximately 40% is below the age of 30 years. The extrapolation of these figures would suggest to us that there are over 15,000 persons in our beloved nation that are between the ages of 12 to 29 years. That is, persons legally defined as youth. It is the goal of the Youth Month of Activities to celebrate the achievements of the youth bring awareness to the issues faced by the youth and in some measure to offer activities and programs that begin to address some of these issues. It is in this regard that I am proud to highlight some of the activities that are being organized by the Department of Youth Empowerment during November in celebration of Youth Month. On Sunday, the Department of Youth Empowerment and representatives from our youth groups will be joining the congregation at the Calvary Baptist Tabernacle. All are invited as we welcome the blessings of our Lord and Savior on the proceedings of this month. The high school cook-off and chef competition will be again staged this year. The Charles E. Mills Secondary School was the winner last year with a dish that included fritters created from homemade oat flour. The high school festival is another highlight for schools on November 26, with the defending champion Bastier High seeking to repeat last year's success. The celebration of our teens will again be the focus of the 25 Most Remarkable Teens Award on the 16th of the month. This program, now in its eighth year, continues to give recognition to the excellence, resilience, and diligence of our nation's youth. This year, the Youth Rally is being expanded to include the rally, a youth group fair, and the Global Entrepreneurs Youth Business Expo. This grand event, to be staged on the 24th at Independence Square and East Central Street, will bring into the spotlight the work of young entrepreneurs as well as the many youth-focused and youth-run organizations in the Federation. It also brings to focus the issues of youth. This month will be appropriately closed on the 30th with the Youth Service Awards where entities, public and private, will be recognized. These persons, groups, and businesses make the actualization of our youth's dreams and goals their mission. During this month, I will also host a National Youth Forum where the youth are afforded an opportunity to dialogue with policy decision makers. Too often, we engage in cookie-cutter decisions instead of listening to the experiences and suggested solutions of the youths of our nation. This year is also going to be a very special celebration as during the Youth Month, we hope to see the tabling of the National Youth Policy. This exercise began some 16 years ago and I am proud to say that with the diligence and dedication of the stakeholders, the process will hopefully be completed. It is important to understand 
that while the tabling of the national youth policy brings closure to a process that has dragged on for far too long, it also sees the birth of a new era of engagement in youth planning. In reviewing and crafting the policy, we took time to go out and ask young people what are their issues, what affects them, what do you want for yourself, and what are the solutions. In short, what this document does is that it brings consideration and action on youth issues to the forefront of planning and decision making. It is a significant achievement as we eliminate the lip service and talk shops and bring real change to the social circumstances and economic opportunities for our young people. In closing, I wish to bring into focus the theme of this year's activities, empowering youth to sow for more. It is great for us to ask our youth to sow, to aspire and work for greatness. But we must also ask ourselves, how do we foster this attitude of excellence? There is a saying that one should work at catching a person doing the right things. So let us challenge ourselves as a nation to go out every day for the next month and recognize the excellence in the young people around us. The youth that cares for their younger sibling. The young entrepreneur that just took the bold step to start his or her own business. The child that is excellent in school or the young man or young woman who stands up against injustice and says no more. Let us take time to say to each of these, good job. For it is through this action that we foster a culture and environment which allows our youth to sow. On this note, I wish everyone an exciting and enjoyable Youth Month 2017 and formally declare the month of activities open. Thank you.